Now, Low Pump, this is Russ after Russ cancels his European tour for mental health reasons. Let's talk about it. Now, Low Pump, the last time we spoke about Low Pump, he was out wandering in the streets of Tokyo. That was like two weeks ago. So about a week ago, actually, something else happened, which is when we get to the topic at hand. So first of all, how does Russ come into the equation? Well, very recently, Russ, if you guys don't know, actually ended up canceling his European tour. Russ put up this lengthy post on his Instagram, essentially canceling his tour for some personal reasons. On a caption of the post in question, he said, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. Stuttgart. That's the city in Germany he was supposed to perform in. I'm especially sorry for you guys because the show was supposed to be tonight. And if y'all don't fuck with me anymore, I understand. I just gotta take some time to process what's been happening for a long time now. Love y'all. And on the post itself, he said, I have to cancel the European tour. I could make up excuses so that I don't lose money. But the reality is, mentally, I feel like shit. In the last 24 hours, shit happened that has led to some extremely lonely and empty realizations about things in my life that have my head feeling like it's gonna burst. I feel terrible about doing this to my European fans. If you no longer support me after this, I get it. If you don't believe my reason, I get it. I've never had to do this and I feel very defeated, but I can't crash and burn and give y'all shitty performances on the way out. You'll be refunded from your point of purchase. I'm very sorry and like I said, the last thing I want to do is let my fans down, which obviously, that's what I'm doing so any negative feelings about any of you end up having to Towards me, I understand. If this happened during the middle or end of tour, I'd probably push through, but it happening before the first show, knowing that I gotta go out and give my 100% energy to 24 shows is something I cannot do. I truly don't expect people to care or have empathy. Everyone has their own shit they gotta deal with. That in and of itself is understanding. I need time to make sense of certain things, and for once, I need to put myself first. I'm really sorry. I love y'all. So right after Russ canceled the tour, since he canceled it on the same day he was supposed to perform in Stuttgart, a lot of his German fans kind of started going off on him because this announcement was so short notice. He ended up responding to the criticism he got from his fans on this lengthy Instagram story where he said, To my Stuttgart fans, it's sad that some of y'all think that I've known I was going to do this and just chose to inform y'all at the last minute. He then clarified that the reason why he canceled on the same day of the show was because he wasn't sure if he was going to cancel to begin with. He then after that apparently talked to his therapist and his team and then made the decision to cancel the entire tour and that's that. This is when the boy Low Pump comes into the equation because Pump had a couple things to say about this cancellation. You think you got mental health issues? I'm from Bay County, bitch. I was born with mental health issues. How about you fucking deal with them stop being a fucking pussy? Mm -hmm. And you know damn who I'm talking to, boy. Your ass just canceled a whole Europe tour, bitch. Stop fucking canceling shit. Hop on that fucking plane and go do your shows, you fucking pussy. Don't ask me why Lil Pump said what he said, because I really don't know. My initial thought was, was Lil Pump perhaps an opener for Russ on his European tour? Because it wouldn't make any sense why he's so pressed about Russ, another man canceling his tour. But then I got flashbacks to the F Russ days. Some people know what I'm talking about. Do you remember how a few years back, Russ, for a little period, was the most hated rapper on the internet? A lot of it stemmed from some public comments he made about different rappers. One of those rappers was the late Lil Peep. When the late Lil Peep unfortunately passed in 2017, around three days after his passing, Russ went on this anti-drug rant. This is what he said on one tweet. Abuse and Xanax and other pills, drugs, etc. and private because you're depressed slash other mental issues is one thing. Still not good, he clarifies. Constantly recording yourself doing drugs and putting up pics and videos of doing it is when you start choosing to publicly glorify it and make it an image. Russ continued on this other tweet by saying, I don't have a difficult time finding the correlation between being depressed and abusing drugs. I do, however, find it difficult to find the correlation between depression and publicly promoting your drug use over and over again through pics and videos. I could be wrong, but a discussion should be had. So a lot of people took what Russ said as a shot towards the late Lil Peep. Personally, that's not how I saw it even back then. Although it was somewhat distasteful considering the timing, I do think Russ put himself on the line for the bigger picture because a lot of rappers back then and even right now are still ignoring the very much prominent drug issue that's ruining a lot of lives in the hip hop culture. At least Russ took a stand and started a very important conversation. There's nothing good about publicizing your addiction irresponsibly because that's only going to influence the young people who follow you to go down this path. Although a lot of people took this as a shot towards Lil peep i saw this more as a shot towards guys like smoke perp and low pump smoke perp ended up responding to this tweet by saying shut the f up you a bitch and this is when the f rust movement really kicked off because low pump was going off on rust around the same time and so was smoke perp for smoke perp things didn't end up in his favor because if you guys don't know what happened rust ended up sending his guys on smoke perp and they ended up giving him the uh the beats and this all happened in germany which is kind of ironic as far as rust and him canceling his tour this is very reminiscent of what we just talked about a few days ago with uh, the week 
week and canceling his concert mid-performance. Cause this is not something you plan for, it seems like that hasn't really registered with a lot of people. For us, he canceled an entire tour, so whatever he's going through had to be serious. A lot of people do however share the same sentiment as Pump, which is man up and uh, do your damn shows. Personally, I think that's very unreasonable cause going against these signals of you know your body telling you to stop, that's always gonna lead to a disaster. I think this is one reason why a lot of artists these days are so burnt out. Everyone is running towards the next accomplishment and the next accomplishment while completely neglecting themselves in the process. The music industry hustle is very real, man. Things are moving faster than ever before. Unfortunately, a lot of artists are putting themselves last, which I think is leading to the deterioration of a lot of artists' mental health. So Russ canceling his tour, I believe, was a necessity because who wants to cancel an entire tour? That's not something any artist wants to do. And it's sad to see that fans are, I want to say, not so understanding of things like this going down. At the end of the day, man, these artists are human, so we got to give them room for a human error. Something I think should be way more emphasized these days because this is gonna happen, right? Your favorite artist is gonna cancel shows, tours, different events because shit happens. That's the way I look at it. But yeah, low pump, this is Russ. Any thoughts on us? Like we covered, Russ, about a week ago, canceled his European tour as a result of some mental health battles he was facing. Now, Lil Pump had a couple things to say about it. What do you guys think about this entire thing? Curious to hear what you have to say. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, like this video, like this video. Let's have a discussion about this.